back on the family farm um, yeah, I'm with the family, spend some quality um, time back home and then got back to Adelaide a few days ago and um, was on standby and, and now off to, um, yeah, to Africa. So you get the call last night, what's your first thought? Yeah, got the call uh, late afternoon from Johnny and Verity and it was just um, excitement really and um, you know, he was really good and he just said, you know, you're, you're on the first plane over there so, you know, he gave him the green light and it's just, um, you know, all smiles really, I can't wait to get there and get amongst it with the boys, it's, it's been a while since I've been um, with the boys but I um, can't wait to get there. Do you feel as though you should have been in the squad in the first instance? Oh look, no. Look, let's. Um, the selectors are there to make the, I suppose, tough decisions, and um, you know they come up with Sean Marsh, and you know it's really unfortunate for Sean um, not to be going um, with his injury, and, and I suppose with his injuries over the last couple of years. And I actually gave uh, Sean a, a call a couple of hours ago and just touched base with him. And look, he's obviously disappointed, um, and I really feel for Sean. But um, you know, I suppose that comes with sport um, injuries, and um, yeah, so. What do, you what do you think your chances are of playing in first test? Oh, look, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just happy to be getting on this plane and um, going over there and enjoying myself and being around the boys and whatever I can do to help out, um, either be play the first test or you know be on the sidelines and, and run drinks and, and just be around the squad and um, really help the boys out. It's just um, a great feeling. You must have fond memories of South Africa. Yeah, look, I've been there a few times and a couple of test tours and I've really enjoyed my time there. Uh, it's nearly five years to the day um, when I first went there, so you know, memories in the back of my mind. And um, as I said, I can't wait to get back there. And you know, they're definitely a quality team, and they have been for a number of years now. So it's going to be great. How do you think your form will be in not much red ball cricket? Oh yeah, look, I haven't played red ball cricket the last um, you know probably four or five weeks. But before that, I felt like my form was you know, quite good in the in the shield uh, competition. And you know, that's all I can really go off is the confidence that I've come out of. You know the, the five or six shield games that I played um, for South Australia, and, and look, there, there has been you know times in the nets where I have pulled the red ball out and, and done some batting against the red ball. So I've definitely prepared because um, you just never know if you do get the call. Have you had a chance to talk to Buff or Pop about what's going to happen when you get over there? Oh look, oh, I spoke to Buff just before. Um, you know, I had a real good chat with him, and and look, yeah, look, we'll get over there and, and assemble as a group and then go from there. So. Uh, Buff said actually last week that he had a chat to you after that. Did, uh, what did he talk to you about? It's obviously a disappointment at the time, but did he give you any insights into what they were looking for from you and what you hope to be able to achieve now? Yeah, look, Buff and I had a really good chat um, in Sydney only about a week and a half ago now, and you know he was he was really good, and um, you know we spoke about a few things, and you know what we spoke about, um, you know, stays definitely between Buff and myself, and you know he was really supportive and, and really gave me a, a good line to go forward in, um, and he, he's been very good. Place in the order that you'd be looking to occupy. I mean, there's a hole at six with no George Bailey. Oh, look, yeah. I've, as I've always said, the last few years, it doesn't matter, um, you know, wherever it is. Um, I'm just happy to be on the plane, either be, you know, running drinks for the boys. Um, just to be in the squad and being selected in this squad is, um, you know, outstanding. You know, we've seen how well the boys played in the Ashes series, and to be now to be a part of this squad um, going forward is just a yeah, you know, a huge, um, I suppose, confidence thing for me, but a real excitement around it. So, look, as I've always said, it doesn't really matter.